Alright, he kicks fight news. Back at it. Deontay Wilder had a quick interview and was able to speak on the Anthony Joshua potential showdown. E King Fight News, more on this. And by the way, shout out to Sam Watson. That's my dude right there. Anyways, Wilder. Wilder basically acknowledged the negotiations. And he said talks are ongoing. That's what he had to say. So, I mean, at least it's not like Triple G and Canelo. That shit's in dead water right now. Like that shit's, That's the one thing I can be happy about. Is at least... Well, what can I... Whatever Eddie Hearn's plan is. Because apparently, you know... It, it has been set. And documented that Eddie Hearn has some type of eight fight plan that he had for Anthony Joshua and Wilder was not part of this eight fight plan. More on this. And in actuality, it was Dillian White that was supposed to uh, fight Deontay Wilder. That was Eddie Hearn's true plan. Unfortunately, the WBC mandatory uh, situation totally backfired on Eddie Hearn and now Dillian White is looking like he wants to fight Kubrat Pulev and he may have to do it overseas because the according to the purse bid winner Epic Sports that fight is not for the UK so that's that's one a very interesting development um, but Deontay Wilder has now come out and said, you know what? He believes Anthony Joshua wants this fight. He does. And as I said before, and I'll say it again, if two fighters, if they want to fight each other, the fight will get made. But, like, like you see, in any given case, any given scenario, you could even look at... Um, Andre Ward versus Sergey Kovalev. At the end of the day, they both wanted to fight each other, or else Andre Ward would have never signed a contract with HBO. In this case, Wilder's been calling out Joshua. Joshua now has been calling out Wilder. He's finally been talking about this fight on an American press tour, and I don't give a shit where you where you make it happen. Anthony Joshua talked to Stephen A. Smith. He was talking about, yeah, let's do the fight in Dallas Stadium. <laughs> Dallas, Texan Stadium in Dallas. The fucking, uh, cow, sorry, Cowboy Stadium. Not the Texans. <laughs> the the Cowboy Stadium in Dallas, Texas. So, why? Because it's a stadium. Somehow, you know, Anthony Joshua, you know, that, that, that would be very interesting. I, I would... I think that would make for a great atmosphere if they did it in Cowboys Stadium. I think that would be a, 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 an interesting new look on the normal boxing in Las Vegas. Um, but Deontay Wilder also said that there was one part of the equation that doesn't want the fight. And he said he thinks Anthony Joshua's team doesn't want the fight. That's right, Anthony Joshua's team, aka Barry and Eddie, fucking <laughs> Barry and Eddie Hearns. Those are the guys that don't want the fight. Those are the guys that don't get into the ring. Those are the guys that just make that fucking. They just take all the they 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 take they take and they take. But when it comes time to come to the table, these guys, man, they don't want to take an ultimate risk like that. And I, I, f I think I feel like Eddie Hearn has now already been burned by his own fucking greed, putting Kell Brook in there with Gennady Golovkin. That was never a fight that was in the best interest of Kell Brook. I'm just saying that. I'm just look, look at Eddie Hearn. Look at this guy, man. You tell me you really don't think he you really think he wants to make this fight as much as 
let's say Showtime, Steven Espinoza, the Barclays Center, fucking MGM, Grand Las Vegas. There's a lot of power players in on this. And they want to see the biggest fight in boxing happen. They know it's the biggest fight. It's now dawn, dawn, like, like, like America has known this for a while. Those who are uh, involved in boxing. This is, where do you think 50 million came from? <clears throat> I'll tell you where 50 million came from. According to Deontay Wilder, it came from a lot of sources. So that'll tell you there's more than one person invested in Deontay Wilder. It, it, or it could be Al Heyman's trust fund, who knows? Whatever the case may be, I mean, wherever the fight may be, even even Deontay was saying, you know, he didn't he didn't seem to be so mad about fighting in the UK at all. He acknowledged a potential fight in the UK. So, you know what? I don't th- I don't think he's scared to travel, not at all. If you guys think that, you're you're sadly mistaken, because Deontay Wilder's fought in the UK already fucking knocked out oddly harrison back in the day <laughs> and i don't give a shit it was in the uk and after the fight he calls out tyson fury what does that tell you i mean he calls out tyson fury fucking makes up a poem and shit talking about hey tyson fury do you want to get in the ring <laughs> some shit like that i don't know i don't know exactly what it was but that that's also a fight that needs to get made i mean these there's plenty of fights in the heavyweight division, guys. So let's not draw this one out. There's plenty of fights. It's Fury. There's Ortiz. Who might get... Be- if, if he can beat Dillian White, Ortiz is right back in there. Fucking... There's also Dillian White in the wings. You know. There's uh, Klitschko in a possible comeback. <coughs> Damn, who else is out there? On the come up, you got Joe Joyce really trying to get right in there, fight Big Baby Miller. So those two guys are out there. Um, I mean, there's Tony Yoka and shit still warming up. Uh, The heavyweight division's picking up, man. I'm telling you, it's picking up. This is a golden era. This is a time where the fights need to happen. And if we're lucky... We might see some of the best fights in the in this new heavyweight division. And some fucking cruiserweights, if they can make a name for himself, I'm talking about Alexander Usyk. If he can come in there and make some noise, the shit's popping, man. This shit will be popping. So don't duck the fight, guys. Just embrace it. Let's make it happen. Don't even, don't even tell me it's all oh, Eddie Hearn's plan. Oh, of course it's gonna happen. Bullshit. <coughs> Some people coming at me talking, talking that bullshit. Oh, we told you the fight's gonna happen. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all don't know. Eddie Hearn will swindle his way out of this fight, man. He'll find a way. And, but he's trying to find a way that doesn't kill him in the media. Because we're going to be at his neck. There's no way he can come back to the U.S. If he doesn't make this fight. There's no way. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close the video with this, guys. Because it's very important we acknowledge this. Eddie Hearn. If he has the sole focus for matchroom sport is to sort of duplicate the success he has in the UK he's gonna be he's, he's gonna be sadly mistaken <coughs> he's gonna be sadly mistaken because Eddie Hearn has not acknowledged um, the fact that if he were to do a two fight deal the better scenario would be to do it in the, in the U.S. first, and then do it in the U.K. In my opinion, that's it's a better fucking scenario. Instead of, you can say Joshua earned the right, all that bullshit, but 
I mean, Lennox Lewis is out here telling him to go out there and fucking get outside the UK. Get some fucking exposure. And he's not gonna, he's not, he's gonna get the most exposure in the US. Point blank period, E King fight news. <coughs> Sorry guys. But if Eddie Hearn really wants to take over the US boxing scene, there's no better way than to make that fight in either New York or Las Vegas. I think New York would be a good bet. And, you know, if it's a great fight, that makes Joshua or Wilder fighting in the U.S. again. It makes it even bigger. E-King Fight News.